Hello! Welcome to the Banner Saga. And of course the music stops right as I start recording. I have literally no idea what the game is. I just saw it on Steam and I saw it was getting a sequel so I thought, hey, let's play it. <laughs> um, this should be going out the week after Life is Strange episodes stop getting uploaded. And so hopefully this will keep you interested. I will be trying to play some... The story in Banner... <laughs> the story in the Banner Saga changes based on the choices you make. You will occasionally switch between le lead characters witnessing the story at all. Okay, you guys probably read that. The gods are dead. In their wake, man and giant survived through a tenuous alliance driving black destroyers called their ridge deep into the northern wastes. Now is an era of growth and trade. Life goes on. Only one thing has stopped. The sun. The newspaper, because that wouldn't be much of a loss. Hmm? Yeah, so I chose to play this because the style looks really quite pretty. Um, obviously, I have no idea what game this would be like, but visuals, beautiful. It has been several long months on the road. The first signs of snowfall accost us on our approach to Strand, largest of the trade cities on the Val human borders, and our last collection before returning to the capital. Several days ago, the sun simply came to a stop in the sky. Though during these long winter days, none of us can be certain how long it has been this way. Some of the men in the caravan have taken it as a dire omen. I am not quick to superstition, but I myself will be glad to be done with this year's rounds. We have been warned by stranded travelers about brigands on the path through Richhorn, our road home. Our captain seems unconcerned. Perhaps he is as eager as I to be done here. We will rest here this day and inquire further when we speak to the governor. So, get all the Nordic vibes. Oh my god, this animation is like... It's so interesting. I mean, it's a little jumpy, but like that just style of it is very beautiful. Oh, is this a breaking fight? A breaking fight. <laughs> a robbery. <laughs> Was what I meant, not a breaking fight. Oh, I think we're gonna play. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Loading. So yeah, the story seems interesting. I'm kind of curious. Like they said, it just stopped in the sky. So is it just always day? You just arrived. You arrived just in time. The chiefman in red and his men are now looking at a tougher fight than they bargained for. Drag around the screen to see your roundings. Click the check mark to continue. The portals show the order of initiative, taking turns from left to right. Your allies are blue. The enemy is red. It's your turn to act. Movement happens before action. The ring shows your shield banger is active. The blue tiles around him show where he can move. Some characters fill more tiles than others. The horned allies are a race of giants called Varl, who take up four spaces uh, tiles each, while humans fill a single tile. This can have a huge impact on your strategy. Oh, so this is a strategy game. Shit. Click the tile you want to move on and then click the check mark to confirm. Move your shield banger here and get into attack into attack range. To attack an enemy, click the tile on which they stand. Uh, any ally tails are blue, the enemies are red. Target this enemy now by clicking his title. You can choose either attack the enemy's strength or break his armor. The numbers between each icon two and five show the damage you will do that stat. Well, let's break down this first. 
strength counts as a both health and damage. Loss of two strengths means you'll do now do two less damage. If strength falls to zero, the character falls in battle. Armor blocks the strength damage, but can be reduced by a break attack. By breaking armor, you open them up to take more damage in the future. Enemy only has five strength remaining. A strength attack will kill him. Click first now to attack his strength, and then confirm your choice. We kill the man. He's down. Each time you make an attack, each time you make a kill, your renown grows, which is used later to improve your characters. After taking an action, your turn ends. Next up is the enemy. Turns always alternate, even if you're outnumbered. Despite being at full strength, the chief tan will do a little do little damage against your shield banger's high armor. Now it's your Warhawk's turn. It appears to be out of range of these enemies, but the character can use will terror to bo bo boost their actions. Willpower has a limited resource, so use it wisely. By clicking on the gold tiles, a character can move farther than usual at the cost of one willpower per gold tile. Red pulsing tiles beneath your enemy shows how close you'll have to be to be in range. Move your Warhawk into attack range now. Standard attacks only affect single enemies, but your Warhawk has a special ability that gives him a unique advantage. Click on your Warhawk title to access his ability. Clicking your character title will bring up all of his combat options, including move, ability, attack, and in turn, click the purple ability icon. The ability description appears below. The Warhawk's Tempest allows him to slam multiple embassies, enemies at once. Select an enemy and you can find your You've made quick work of the chieftain's bodyguards. When there is only one enemy left, players enter pillage mode. During pillage, each character moves in order and there are no more guaranteed turns. Check in the uh, to see how the order has changed. Your allies now get to move twice in a row. If the character does not move on this turn, he will gain one willpower. The chieftain will rest this turn. Looks like the chieftain's in trouble. Your shieldbringer won't be able to Finish the attack. Wait, finish the job with a normal attack, but willpower can be used to boost your damage. Check the chief. Click the chieftain's tile to attack. But first, I click the first, and then the stars above the first to add willpower. The number of stars available in each turn are determined by your exertion exer, exertion stat. You'll see the damage number go up as you add willpower. Click a star, and then the green mark to check to kill this enemy. believing that peace will last. My grandfather built all this from a poor fishing village, you know. He watched the gods die, watched the chaos that followed, watched man and bar slaughter each other, even before the dreads arose. All we've done is traded one struggle for another. Now that there are no more dreads to war against, we war against ourselves. This chieftain meant to kill me, and he's not the first. A dozen families in the city would gladly take my chair. This one had men waylaying merchants, both north and south of the city, strangling trade quite well, I would add, though he denied it to his last. This sort of wolf doesn't stop biting because the head is cut off. It just grows a new head. <laughs> I'm in a bad way, my friend. Help me finish this fight and I'll gladly send you on your way with double our king's tithe. Take any men you need. They're loyal. I promise you that. They will meet you down in the proving grounds. Man, this whole thing is so interesting. It's like political strategy fighting and I've never really played a game like this so it's gonna be interesting to see how bad I am at it. I'm very simple minded so hacking slashes are way closer to my You're approached by a familiar man who walks in step with you as you're leaving the Great Hall. He cuts to the chase.
Eric Stewart of Stard. I manage the governor's business. Ubin, isn't it? It is. The governor tells me you'll be giving us a hand. What did you have in mind? Stalfings that you didn't hack up in the Great Hall scattered after you took out their chieftain. The government now the governor wants you to make sure they stay down. I was hoping you'd join me at the marketplace by the docks. If there's anyone left to worry about, I don't I know who can tell us. Man, he is a cutie. I mean everyone's a cutie. Like giant, adorable giants. So cute with their giant beards and everything being big about them. Is my YouTube stick just gonna be me having like crushes on everyone? Like, look at that cute face. But also, you know, if super narcissistic, I'm like, oh yeah, I like how they draw lips because that's how I like to draw lips too. But <laughs> they are way better at it. Eric, let me handle this. You meander through. Rows of fa open face houses and eroded stalls. Coloured canvas flap on a briny current. One man in particular blanches as you approach. Had I'm not in the mood today. For what? Talking to an idiot. The scalpings Captain bled out about an hour ago had. So when you tell me that Will you tell me what rat anus the rest of them crawled back into and who's going to try and kill you this time? I don't talk to. They don't talk to me. Had I had a charge of... A change of heart. I do hope he gives us a hard time. Had sweats visibly fumbling with some dirty trinkets on his table. Wait, just... Buy one of these. If everyone thinks I'm getting worked over every week, how am I supposed to know much? Just a little food money, yeah. I'll pay him. You toss a silver, a slither of silver on the table. Both men look at you with surprise. Had gestures meekly to a variety of junk from his stall. Take whatever you like. The only thing I'd like is the name of this place. No man up by East Wall. But that was months ago, last I know. Had sulks away with a wave of Eric's hand, gathering things from his hovel. Disappearing for a while until this blows over, you figure. The body, your bodyguard steps forward. Are we done here? That's Ginnolf. He's also cute. Ginnolf, why are you wearing that green... Wait, are you wearing green back at the hall? The Great Hall? No, I just bought them while you were walking around. Why? You look like a frog. You look good to me. I'm glad you care. Gunluff. Gunluff? 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 Goes off to look at more stalls. Eric, that man of yours seemed unreliable at least. Unreliable at least. A blind dog wouldn't trust Had, but he used to be scalfling. If they're looking their wounds, they've probably gone old haunts, not new ones. No man is a mead hall. Best I can tell. The name's ironic. Listen, I know a guy who would love to put a few of these skulls in the ground. I'm going to find him. I'll meet you there. I'm such a bad voice actor. What a luxury. Come on, you've already mop mopped it up for us today. Just make sure the governor remembers his promise. Double the usual leaf. I'll remind him. Pardon me. You arrive in front of what must be a nobleman. A few minutes later, Eric appears with a weather-beaten man introduced as Valgard. I'll point them out, Eric says, over his shoulder. Ready. You're walking in the front door. They ran to a meat house, says Van Gaal. I'll be surprised if they can stand up straight right now. Okay, here we go. Valgard boots 
front door open so hard it won't close again without repair. As you enter the hall, Eric is already at the head of the table. His axe drawn, wide eyed, drunken skeletons scramble to find their own weapons, turning tables and meat stains and stains in the process. Please forgive me for all the Nordic words I'm mispronouncing. Not even Nordic. Uh, what? What? Scandinavian is also a thing? I don't know. I'm being super fucking ignorant right now. I'm sorry. For all the. Uh, this kind of thing. Click a unit to deploy them and any of the blue tiles when you need to swipe for the bus. The ready button to start the battle. Did I just need to put them on a blue tile? tile? Oh, right, okay. Actually, let's move this guy to where that guy was, and then this guy here. Okay. This is where this was a really bad idea. play as I am Eric. Using some willpower. The menus are kind of getting in the way of it. Nice. Stylus is really cool. Fuck him up, fam. I oh, know, not a tiny human. He was a good boy. Yeah, 
I'll kill him. Oh no, that's not a good time. Got an achievement? Cool. Super good at this. Well, I guess that's to be expected when I suck at these kind of games. It may take me a while to get used to it, and I'm probably gonna end up rushing through and getting myself killed a bit. Because I'm very good at doing that. Yeah. Beat that fella down. Viking is not doing well. Not Viking him, um, giant. Is it someone over there? Yeah, okay. <sighs> These butt heads attacking my big, handsome ginger husband. Oh, okay, let's move then. No, no, I want to cancel that. I want to move to like there. Yeah. And then hit this guy. He's got seven. He's got three. Okay, let's take out the guy with seven. Oh! Getting beaten up has not done me much one. good. Heavy impact. Okay. And oh now he's dead. Yeah, kill and retaliation. Yep, he's gone. Yay! Pose lying dead at your feet would regret it. Promotion tempered by blood. <laughs> I don't get to read anything. <laughs> yeah! All the renown. Renown? Mm. I'm not a word person. <sighs> there they are. Gods be damned. I've got to go wash off this blood. Eric is looking at the hall's windows into the bay. A fleet of longships approach with sails of Bold reds and blues. One banner I know well, Vol you? Next to the Varal kingship we la last we spoke. The other flag looks important. Yes, important guests. See what I deal with all day long. Ah, this makes a little more sense. You hoped I'd have a stake in saying everything's fine here when the royal guests arrived. Not me, the governor. Now I have to make sure no rotting bodies or pools of entrails still in the Great Hall by. Can I ask one more favour? 
What is it? If you happen to stall our guests down on the docks, I wouldn't object. Maybe I will. Eric and Valgard hustle from the meat house. To his credit, Eric tosses the barkeep a spar of silver for the mess. You give an apologetic shrug and go to the n greet the new arrivals down at the docks. Yay, let's go to the docks. God, this game is so pretty. It is so, like, ridiculous. Like, they don't even have shading in that, and yet it still has depth to it. God. Oh, that's some loud music. Vlog near. A familiar yarl steps onto the docks. In your mind, you recall a much younger version trampling the halls of Golfine, abundant in purpose. God's own, you're looking ancient. <laughs> Comes with being old. And if there is Vogner, must be Hakon. Hakon. Wait. Okay. Comes with being old. And if there is Vogner, there must be Hakon. Again, apologies for any mispronunciations. Must there? Still bleeding tributes from the poor and stupid old yucks. At what age do you you lose the sense of shame? Your 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 under <laughs> demands it. I'll take over that lingering death in Goldfine Grofine. Speaking of, I had no sense that you were so far from home. Just returned from Arborang, in fact. And glad for it. Man, he is a Pretty, pretty eyes. And he's got Cora hair and Cora moustache hair. That is just, that's just way too cool. Hakon motions to the other ships in the bay. Stales still fluttering. Golden wolf head and bas embazoned on, emblazoned? That's not even a foreign word, that's English. <laughs> emblazoned on red. The king of men or someone on his behalf. The king's will. The king's son, Luden. Did you know Skrivjarnir? We visit his capital, he visits ours. It's how you make alliances these days. It's a miserable waste of time. Yes, Hakon, it is. I'd almost forgotten. It's a good thing you're around, Hakon. Hakon. Mm hmm. So then you're going to Godheim. Or Grofheim. I have the distinct feeling I finished my business in Strand and was heading back there myself. We should caravan. We should. Give it a day. In better circumstances, I drink a week away. But <sighs> let's just be done. Find me tomorrow at the gates. He's trying to say the prince is a delight to behold. Where is Mogir Hack? Con Mogir. I have to we have him find a place to put up the warriors. I'm heading to greet the governor. A host of giants depart in his wake. You reckon there's a few. Others are strangers to you. I guess I'm also find Mo Mogir. See you in the morning, Skrivjarnir. I'll be along. The young prince of men ambles from his ship. He brushes off his tunic, scanning the beach with low eyelids. Luden looks for all the world. It looks all the world. Look, looks for all the world. The sort of boy who grew up pulling his legs from spiders. The long road back to growth him should be more interesting than most years you think. Okay, I'm gonna wrap up the first episode here. Wait, weariness suddenly settles in and you chuckle to yourself about what an odd day it has been. One of your governor's men at the Great Hall could find you a place to sleep. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to leave that here for today. I hope you've enjoyed this little first video. Lots of reading, not a lot of talking, but I kind of prefer it that way. I don't know, I can't do very many voices, but I am kind of trying. So yeah, <laughs> hopefully that'll get better as this goes on. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a great day. See you in the next video. Bye!